and I can disconnect. Spoiler alarm. <laughs> Another spoiler alarm. <laughs> Let's go back to the first slide. There you go. How can I make this uh, full screen? Like this, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. Please go full screen. That looks good, huh? Yep. Cool. You want to start? Start. So, welcome everyone to the closing session. Um, again, thanks to the sponsors for host for having us this year and helping with the organization. Definitely, uh, we couldn't afford this venue. We couldn't afford the food, um, the pinchos. So thank you very much. Yeah, and the last thing about sponsors, we're, we're really happy as, as organizers to see how much you and your, we're, we're interacting with the sponsors and there was a, a really good, good interactions and, and conversations. So that, that's really nice. It's not just about the money. Um, Closing session. Yes, year we gave a lot of numbers. This year we will be more short. Um, we basically have more or less the same number of tickets sold as last year. Uh, 470 light bulbs in the maker's area. A lot of lumen. Uh, a lot of consumption. Everything in a green way, so good. Um, um, okay, I'm going to take this one. So uh, we had a few COC cases this year. Uh, we had six cases in total. Um, we solved all of them, and in one case, we had to send the attendee home. So um, for next year, of course, we're going to try to lower the numbers again. And we'd like to ask everyone to, to uh, pay attention to how they interact with the others. Want to continue? Um, so this year we would, would really like to focus more on the people helping and people uh, really running the conference. Uh, that's because of them that we are here enjoying all the, the good talks. So we will invite every team to the stage um, to come here and get some applause they deserve. So first, the on-site team, please, can come to the stage. The on And of course, there is Oyer as well. Uh, okay, the conference administration team. <laughs> Finance work group. Sp 
Sponsors Team. Communications Work Group. Uh, support Work Group. I thought it was finished. <laughs> I notice it's a, quite a small team for support. <laughs> they have a lot of, of work. Uh, financial aid work group. Come on, Daria. <laughs> um, marketing and design. There is also meat in there. Um, program work group. Um, web work group. This is plus all year, all year as well. So, um, media work group. <laughs> so yeah, for for Anthem, we have to wait to clap because if the videos don't go out live, it, like it's his fault. <laughs> um, code of conduct work group. Now we would like to thank and come to the stage the Django Girls and Beginners Day organizers. <laughs> Paula is there at the, the very, stand up at least. <laughs> Okay, so now... Can I just get, just very quickly, anyone who volunteered as a coach for uh, the Beginner's Day or the Django Girls, please could you stand up? If you volunteered as a coach, thank you so much to each and every one of you. You're absolutely wonderful. We can't do it without you. It's so special. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we had 51 on-site volunteers. Anyone that is in the room, can you please come to the stage and get your applause? Yeah. All the volunteers. Yeah, volunteers. A big applause for Oyer. Yeah, Oyer is our jefe, our boss. <laughs> and he couldn't be here uh, the whole week because the opening the, coming to, go, to open the venue, he, he broke his leg and he had a long uh, surgery. Um, but he sent his message and he, he's really happy 
of the conf about the conference and uh, that everybody enjoyed uh, their time. So if you miss him, you can come to the Pycon San Sebastian, right? Come to peace. Come to peace. <laughs> Um, so, um, you, you, they, they, thank you. You could stay or whatever. <laughs> I, uh, you are really part of the show, so you can stay. Uh, the, the APS used to be just for the Python conferences. Uh, now we uh, we made a, a lot of heavy heavy lifting in the last years to build a structure to, to uh, raise some assets and some money to try and um, help with uh, outside of the EuroPython conference. And we will we'll now we'll try hard to make it hap this happen from now on, support the Python community in Europe. Uh, and you should really apply as a member to, to the website if you want to help or you just support or you want to know more. And this is my last year as chairman. Um, I'm retiring like Obama. Uh, or whatever. Um, and I would just like to thank everyone for all the help, all the thanks, and all the good and bad feedbacks because they helped us to try and build a, a better conference. Uh, those years have been quite hard, um, um, but the, it's really um, all the Every, every time the your Python week and all the feedback and interacting with everyone and see how it's important for the, the European community, um, the, the Python Europe, in Europe community, uh, it, it pays back. So I would, I'm happy to, to leave, uh, not leave, really leave, just, I'm just stepping back from, my, from that. Uh, but I was, will keep helping to make place, uh, I, I'm stepping back just to make place for younger and more, people with more time and energy. So <laughs> I'm getting old. I'm getting old. So thank you. Um, and I would like to, so this is, I also would like to thank the, the previous board. Um, well, most of the board is still the new board, and I would like to uh, called the new board and thank everyone and welcome the new chair, uh, Mark Andre. So thank you, thank you, Fabio, for for passing on the uh, the torch. Um, I'm going to be the chair of the EPS for for this year, and I hope to do uh, a good job. Uh, I would like to have the EPS be more uh, open, and that's why we also opened up the, the uh, mission of the EPS, to be something that is available for everyone in the Python community in Europe. Uh, so it's not just for organizing conferences. And this is going to be a slow process. We are inviting everyone in Europe uh, using Python to, to join the EPS. We want to do something as sort of like a European PSF thing. Um, and we hope to, to make this happen. As you can see, we have more board members now. We have two more uh, because we want to spread the load a bit, the workload. Everyone on this board will be doing a lot of work. So organizing this conference was a lot of work, uh, as it has been in the last years. And it's not going to change. So we definitely need more help from you. So how can you help? Uh, it's actually very easy. You just you just sign up for, for a work group. You just saw the various work groups that we have. If you think that, that you could help in one of these work groups, just write an email to the board, uh, and then we'll, we'll uh, get you involved in the organization of the conference as organizer. Uh, most of the work is, before the conference at least, is uh, remote. So it's, it's easily possible to, for example, like we had in this year, to work from Brazil to organize this conference. Um, and we, we definitely need more help. Of course, you can also then help as on-site volunteer, as the 51 volunteers have done here at the conference, uh, but we also need help before the conference, of course. Then I have another message. We have these. 
<laughs> and we have lots of those. <laughs> we need to get rid of those. <laughs> so I'd like to invite you to uh, take one and get nine free, at least. Um, at the conference desk, so we don't have to take them home again because they're quite heavy. Um, and the idea behind this is that you, you take this uh, in, your in your community and then you, you spread the word about Python so you can be something like an um, ambassador for, for Python to, to help spread the word in, in companies or maybe introduce other people who don't know Python yet to how great Python is. Uh, this is a good thing. So for next year, you're probably uh, interested in what, what the current plan is. For next year, we have uh, started a call for interest, uh, which means that we are asking people to tell us whether they're interested in, in running the conference. After that, we'll have a CFP, the official one, more formal and everything. Um, up until now, the CFP runs until next Friday. Up until now, we've had one um, proposal CFI proposal from Italy, and the, uh, it's going to be not, not in Florence again, it's going to be somewhere in, oh, the plan is uh, in that proposal to have it somewhere in the Milano area, where exactly it's not clear yet, we still have to look at the venues. Of course, they, there may be other teams that submit uh, proposals until next Friday, so we can't really say definitely yet whether it's going to be there or not. But given the response, chances are rather high, I'd say, that's going to be in Italy. So you can make plans for going to Italy next year. Right, and another call, um, we need help with the teardown of the conference. So we need to help uh, with taking down all the tables in the exhibit hall. We need to put all the TVs back into their boxes. Uh, we need to do something about the way too many bags that we have. Uh, we need to take down the whiteboards, etc. Uh, we're going to manage all that from the conference desk, so if you want to help, please come to the conference desk and then we, we can then sort out who will help in which area so that we, we can uh, do everything quickly. Right, and so we would like to wish you a safe trip home, regardless of where you're coming from. And of course, we would like to have you a safe trip to Europe in 2017 next year. So we would really like to see you again at the conference. We've heard this uh, at, the, uh, at Naomi's ke uh, keynote, come for the language, stay for the community. Of course, uh, you're in Bilbao, right? So it should read like this. We loved having you, and we hope that you enjoyed the event.